Firm capabilities refer to a firm's ability to execute tasks in a dependable manner. This is a relative term used to categorize businesses as either highly capable or less capable. Apple, for instance, is viewed as a highly capable company due to its ability to perform manufacturing and marketing tasks better than most of its competitors. Although capabilities and profits are closely linked, they are not identical. Monopoly firms can generate profits despite their lack of capability. My three-part thesis focuses on firm capabilities. In the first section, I examine whether firms unintentionally acquire capabilities from their supplier and customer industries. While it is known that firms obtain capabilities through their supplier and buyer relationships, far less is known about the unintentional transfer of capabilities between industries. Then we argue how this unintended flow of capabilities partially explains the large differences between firms' capabilities. The second section of my thesis investigates the same question using a different approach. Here I construct an inter-industry buyer-supplier network and employ network analysis to examine the unintended flow of capabilities. In network analysis, we look at how the position of an industry in a large network affects the results. Job placement is one of the primary draws for anyone pursuing a business degree such as MBA. However, the precise benefits that business degree managers bring to companies are less well known. The third section of my essay examines whether firms employing business degree managers in top management have greater capabilities than other firms. Isolating the precise impact of business degree hiring on companies is a difficult exercise as most business degree managers are recruited by leading firms. Thus, is it simply a case of business degree managers working for successful companies or do the firms really benefit from them? Thank you.